Hello everyone, this is the installation tutorial for Realm of Thrones. Let's just bring this over right here. We are testing HDR recording, so let me know if this all goes well. So first, what we want to do is go to Files and click Manual Download. It is a almost 10 gig file, so it will take some time to download. So all that downloads, depending on your internet, could take up to an hour. What we want to do is go to your banner lord right here. Right click on your banner lord, click on properties, and go to local files. If you're on 1.8.0, verify your folders. But if you are not, uh, you can click on none as your, it's our current patch. But in the future, you can click on uh, 1.8.0. So once that's done, I'll have to go back to local files and verify integrity. I do recommend a clean installation. This will be a dirty installation tutorial, just for those who already have mods installed. Uh, clean installation is either delete the game, reinstall the game, delete all the files, verify everything, basically as if you just got a brand new PC to ensure complete clean and uh, lack of uh, file problems. Okay, so while that's done downloading, and then the mod is done downloading, it is recommended that we use 7-zip, not WinRAR, even though it is a RAR folder. So what we want to do is click on properties. You click on unblock. Once that's done, once again, proper, uh, just show more options just to make sure it is unblocked. So now we're going to go open with, well, I'm going to have to look for uh, yeah, 7 zip and I'm going to extract. It's going to take some time to extract. So we'll be right back when it's done extracting. Once it has extracted, now go back to your Steam, now go to your properties, now go to local files, browse, and go to modules. Open up this folder. You're going to want to put in your modules. And we'll be back when it's done. Now that we have it installed, what we're going to want to do is boot up the game. If it wants to work, I guess this is a dirty installation. So obviously disable everything that did not come with your mod for doing a dirty d installation with me, which is basically everything. So what we want to do is put ROT content first, then Aurelian map fix, then the realm. Then ROT races. And this is all going to be under the Tail Worlds native stuff. Now, if we click play, it should boot. Other than that, if you have any problems, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you with your problem. Stay tuned and enjoy.